it's not really about the steakhouse and the vegan restaurant. Mm. It's about the underlying elements that are going on in this relationship. <laughs> it just so right. happens to be that we're talking about a steakhouse and a vegan restaurant and our differences and, you know, whatever. But if we, if we, we can start a scene from that conflict and we can go into the depths of hell to that relationship mm -hmm. or heaven, however you want to look at it, but we can go deep, 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 way down into history and all sorts of wonderful things. And so, you know, simplicity is such a great place to start because it's like, why well, I need to think of this big conflict for my movie to make it interesting. It's like, no, you don't, you just need a conflict <laughs> and let that be the crack of the door that lets you into the room because you don't even know what's in the room yet. And I mean, that's a great way to write drama, I think, from that interpersonal depth. But a lot of the time, conflict in like an action movie can be the same. Like we have to get across town in one hour and, you know, and it's going to take us like exactly one hour to do it. And if we don't, like this person's going to die or that's going to blow up or blah, 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 blah. And then the conflict becomes about all the obstacles and all the variations between going from here to here. And your whole movie could be based around, we have to get from this location to that location. And that's your whole movie. Yeah. And then everything that happens in between, it's like, well, it isn't really just from here to here, but it is. And, and I think this is a really important thing to bring up because... Movies that deliver often start with a very, very simple conflict or a simple dilemma, yeah. a simple problem that that actually opens up into complexity. And I think that's a much better way to start than to start with some really complex idea and try to simplify it.